Hello, hello, everyone. Um, uh, first off, uh, I am refilming my um, witch's bounty, <laughs> and since I'm doing that, uh, I um, I did for the Scorpio moon um, this crystal grid, and it's so beautiful. I'm like seeing this beautiful rainbow that's in that piece right there. You see it? Beautiful rainbow in the optical. It's actually just clear calcite, but I used um, this beautiful grid for the Scorpio um, full moon, the feathers, and um, the fairy crosses, blue calcite, um, citrine, clear quartz, um, yellow quartz, and um, pyrite. And then herbs um, and some powder um, for intention with the feathers. <laughs> but I um, wanted to show that off. So I kind of have a story. Um, I uh, usually like to show the pendant that I'm wearing um, and everything. But before I like go into that, uh, I so it's kind of different. Today I got my, my my pendant, so I didn't end up grooving with the pendant this month. Uh, specifically, like once you see it, and I took a video of my previous pendant. Um, compared to the pendants I was seeing, everything was so beautiful and long, and um, and I was kind of like disappointed once I started. I what I saw it once I put it because usually um, I'll throw like. The next the pendant that I'm about to wear um, into the new batch of herbs that I'm going to be working with um, that month because usually my I get my box around the full moon which I'm very grateful for um, and so I kind of do like a whole intentional thing with the piece and um, I saw that I, I didn't I wasn't gravitated to put it on and then kind of got confirmation from my husband like you know I was thinking about it and and I and I hate to be that person that complains about something but uh I just didn't want to like you know I didn't uh you know I was like the worst they can say is no <laughs> and they're so sweet um my pendant came today in the mail I shipped my pendant out on Thursday I returned it and they shipped me out a new one, and here it is. Um, so the theme of this month was the Amber Temple. So um, it, I, I love the theme. This was last month's um, pendant. It was the earthen key with the green opal. And um, I've been kind of wearing since like, uh, I haven't been wearing that one piece. Kind of um, this piece right here from uh, January, the uh, witch's talisman, I believe they called it, with the Shug Knight and the black uh, scroll in it, which is really pretty. But um, so yeah, it's a little bit different. I have the pendant outside of the box. I put everything back that came came in the box to kind of um you know, go about it. So, um, let me read. I have the paperwork out. I thought that it was funny how my, usually they had the print in the middle. I felt like that was almost a sign. So, um, sorry, my, I think my phone stopped, so I had to keep recording, but, um, so let's go, uh, the Amber Temple. So I really love this theme. Especially after like seeing my oracle cards this month, uh, kind of like Pele, I got Pele the Vicano goddess, but this oracle was from today, um, from the witch's moon box, seek the symbols, and it's so funny, the goddess in this box that they showed has been like popping up everywhere, I showed it in my roots box, unboxing, about that and then even in Teen Wild she's referenced in the workbook for sure. Um, 
So let's open open the box and show what's and stuff. So oops, I actually bent the card. But here is the beautiful goddess. Amatera Terasu, the Shinto goddess. I love her the golden vibes from her. But uh, in the workbook, she's mentioned as one of the five goddesses to work with. Let me see, I think I just... There she is. A goddess to work with during June. <laughs> so, I thought that was interesting. Like... You know, it's like she is popping up everywhere. So, we have the beautiful artwork. And then let me read what it says about the Amber Temple. As we call upon the warmth, glory, and undefeatable energy of the sun during this time, we find ourselves standing upon the doorsteps of the Amber Temple. Within these energies, the amber light pours into our aura as if to shine luminous rays into the darkest crevices of our souls. These gifts are from the ancient providers and may, excuse me, and connects us to the deepest and most rooted parts of our spirit. We have been planning this piece for almost a year and cannot wait for our subscribers to finally experience these beautiful and powerful stones. Join us in May as we celebrate the glory of light within this, or excuse me, of light with a collection that is sure to be passed along from generation to generation. That's for sure. The magical items in this box are as follows. And this piece reminded me of another piece um, we received. It was like a September um, piece, you know, it was like three different pieces, and I kind of talked about that in the moon box unboxing. If it would, if it was too hard, <laughs> I don't want to get ahead of myself though. Okay, so, um, here are the incense. I used one to cleanse the other pendant, actually. Um, the stability ritual incense sticks, and I love seeing the tree kind of is there. Um, this is the third item, the ritual still stability ritual incense sticks. Um, it smells very nice. Uh, it's actually accompanied by notes of cedar wood. This beautiful woody smoke has the ability to bring a sense of belonging to any sacred space. Um, I love cedar wood. It smells very nice. Um, so I got actually the little shoestring cord. I'm actually wearing like the gray one right now. It's older. I took the velvet, the velvet wears off. That's the only like con to getting this one. Um, but I like that you it wears shorter around your neck. Um, they gave me the brown one. Um, and here is our stone. <laughs> Crystal for the month. And once you'll see my hands again, I'll have different nails on. <laughs> They're very worn. We have tumbled Sumatra amber, sourced from Sumatra, Indonesia. This beautiful tumb tumbled amber carries dark and sometimes smoky reflections. Carry the stone with you throughout, a, throughout the day to bring balance, clarity of thought, and good luck to every situation. In addition, allow these energies to bring warmth, comfort, and light to your experiences. The stone has been included within a drawstring bag to be reused in your workings. Elemental Association Earth, Chakra Association Third, Solar, Solar Plexus. I usually do that. I usually end up um, adding stones and making little crystal sets um, with these sachet bags. Um, and then we have a candle. is a really pretty root beer um, 
like brown. I mean, like the real root beer candies. And I loved what they called it the ancient whisperings hand rolled spell candle. Um, we've hand rolled the spell candle to create space for you to sit, to be silent, and to be grounded, and to open your psychic heart and mind to messages that may be attempting to reach you. These ancient whisperings may hold new ideas or inspiration for current projects or workings. Like that. And then we have our oil. I kind of just put that back in the, because that was in the box, the bubble wrap. But we have Amber Temple, which is what the collection was actually called. I just put that together pretty Furbies in there and I was rubbing this all over me because <laughs> um, it was all my vanity <laughs> um, before I put it back in the box but um, it smells really good it says about the amber temple magical anointing oil we created this amber temple magical anointing oil with the uh, intentions to come to sorry uh, the intentions of accompanying you during times of darkness. The Amber Temple represents our connection with all that is good, all that is kind, all that brings warmth to our hearts. This blend was created to enhance feelings of love, compassion, and natural for the natural world. As you cultivate your energies each day, allow this anointing oil to be your companion and ethereal friend. We enhance this oil with oils of bergamot, amber, and cedar, as well as oak willow and pine herbs, along with the magical oils from a personal cabinet of witchery he used to create the special blend. We have included a quartz crystal chip set to enhance insight and mental performance. And then it has a base for, a base is sunflower oil. And then, um, oh, I forgot to mention the artwork on the ledger. Um, the amateur masu. <laughs> Amateur Masu. <laughs> I'm getting Italian. Uh, <laughs> uh, I guess that's a little bit on my mind. Dinner's coming. Amateur Masu, Goddess Book of Shadows artwork. Um, they wrote, We are thrilled to be able to include a goddess artwork within this collection honoring Amateur Masu, who represents the ever burning sun. May her brilliance accompany you on your voyage of growth and creation. This piece of artwork is exclusive to this collection. Okay, so I must have hit the my camera or something again. But, um, <laughs> so I showed the artwork, and now we have for the beautiful pendant. <laughs> um, this is beautiful. So my pendant. I'll show like the video of or pic the vic picture I took of mine was very short and mine did not have like this beautiful clarity like th like this one does how beautiful this is and then it this one also has an Isis um, base on it right here so it was like that even shows even more I was right with um, doing that but I love um, how this one is it's so beautiful the only thing is they did have to touch up the the tips on this one that's the difference of like a kind of like looking at a piece like this where this is not a natural piece, you know, this was cut and polished. They just kind of did that to the tips of this guy. Um, which I don't mind because it really just enhances the piece, I feel like. But very beautifully done. I'm really excited to try this on.
I love the colors. It's like perfect for uh, the beginning of summer. I noticed they really like had the yellows and red, like all the warm tones throughout their boxes this month. So here it is. I'll try it on with the the cord that they gave. Oh my gosh, yeah, this is so pretty. Look how pretty that is. Like that's, yeah, it's so much prettier than how my last necklace looked. So we read about the Sumatra Amber Citrine and Quartz Pendant. As one of our favorite and most collected stones of, or fossilized items, Amber has been a large inspiration for a number of projects we have worked on over the years. The specific type of amber was discovered in Sumatra in Southeast Asia and is, or excuse me, and is completely natural without treatment of any kind. Sumatran amber is commonly known for having spots or dark areas floating within, within and within. I think it's a typo. I remember saying that the first time. Within they have within in, but they meant within it. Dating between. 20 to 200 million years, amber is a fossilized res resin and is found in a variety of beautiful colors and hues. Used for creating jewelry and ornaments almost 5,000 years ago, amber was found in a way into, or excuse me, amber has found its way into the stories of ancient Egypt and floats through the great mythologies and imagery of ancient Greece. It is said that upon the death of Phaethon, his sister wept uncontrollably, eventually turning into polar trees and produced tears making of amber. This wonderful ancient gemstone provides a sense of well-being and warmth to the carrier and is known as the humble companion silently grounding us. As this stone comes from the living form of trees, it carries with it such a deep significance and energy. In addition, amber carries the ability to shine light into any difficult situation we may be facing, ensuring that we can find the gift in all scenarios. It is very common to see this stone turned into a beautiful pendant, into beautiful pendants placed within rings, carved into figures, or simply admired for its beautiful color. We have found amber to be a stone of tranquil and confident temperament providing us with a sense of belonging and foundation. As life becomes hectic and chaotic, leaving seeds of doubt and anxiety within your psyche, allow amber to bring you closer to nature. The silent teacher carries the old and wise soul of nature's past and whispers comforting words and encouragements in times of need. We strongly recommend spending time with this incredible stone, working to understand what its energies may do for you specifically so that you are able to call upon it when needed. This beautiful Sumatran amber is surrounded by 0.925 silver and sits atop a hand-selected piece of quartz crystal known to, or excuse me, known for its ability to amplify one's intention to enhance mental clarity and promote creativity. You have also included a piece of natural citrine into the bale of this pendant. As you wear this pendant through these brighter months, rely on its light, warmth, and creative power to bring feelings of hope and excitement to your daily workings. Do not use harsh chemical cleaners on your amber jewelry, rather use mild soap. I always like to say use Dawn, and <laughs> just soap is like really good. Um, only when needed. And then at the, at the end, it says you have curated this box with the intention of Enhancing the magic that flows through your life, allow the 
synchronicities and signs from your guides to manifest through the tools and dormants that you so sacredly use. May these coming months be fresh and full of new beginnings and findings. As we see the world, so it is. Blessed be the witch's bounty. The Amber Temple. So yeah, that was really um, beautiful. I really loved. Here's um, the ledger. I always like to, just in case if anyone ever wants to, I don't know, <laughs> just like see what it looks like and stuff. And I always write down when I keep it what color the candle was that month. So, because I put this away already, um, I, you know, I thought it was done. But sorry if this video was a little bit off um, than usual. But I really loved this box overall. I thought it was beautiful. And then just them showing the beautiful, accommodating customer support that they did. It just made the box even more special and beautiful. So yeah, I'm really happy with my Witch's Bounty this month. And um, let me know how did you feel about this month's box? Um, how, what stone have you been, have you worked with Amber before? What's your favorite like warm colored um, stone? And uh, yeah, have you ever worked with uh, Emma Tara Sue before? Because she's calling my name, I know it. Um, I'm excited to work with her. So yeah, <laughs> um, please stay safe and um, have a great weekend. Bye guys. <laughs> it's like focusing on like the first point and then that second one. And now no more. <laughs> you gotta see it's like uh just kind of going around it now <laughs> it's beautiful